Okay, um, good morning everybody. Can you see my um, screen over here? Present, uh, present uh, the scene that I presented? Yes, Dr. <clears throat> okay, thank you for your response. Um, if you have a look at e-learning um, portal for our course, uh, I've already updated um, the material for week number one and also week number two now this week lah. and um, I also provided a lecture notes over here and as usual every week we're gonna have a class activity so at the end maybe uh, you're gonna have to do some homeworks and submit your class activity um, with your homework over here anyway this is new something uh, other materials, uh, explanation on uh, what I've been uh, delivered to you last week, and also uh, what I'm going to deliver uh, this week. It's about uh, series parallel circuit, as well as the basic knowledge on uh, Ohm's law, charge power, and so on. Okay. Um, regarding class activity number one, uh, Thank you so much for those who have already submitted. Based on my um, record over here, I have around 15 students already submitted. Um, Wang uh, still didn't submit, so you need to do that um, by the end of this week or as soon as possible because you... Uh, Doctor, uh, because my uh, e-learning uh, is wrong, so I cannot open it. But mm -hmm. now it's uh, uh, before my 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 e-learning uh, register for section two, so I, I cannot see. open your uh, file. Okay, uh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's okay. You you can um, submit it uh, later, but as soon as possible, lah, because uh, okay. we're gonna have another submission for this week. This is for last week's submission. I think um, uh, others, I think, are already submitted. And thank you so much for your submission. Um, I've already have a look at uh, one of your um, colleague answer. I think from Ab Abdel Hilmi. Abdel Hilmi. Abdel Hilmi. Where? Okay. Yeah. Oh, over here. Right. No, not here. Great. Okay. Up to you me. Is it? from Abdul uh, I'm not remember I think maybe this guy Abu Bakar sorry sorry not Abdul from Abu Bakar I think. yeah he's done a very good job over here um, but I didn't expect that you're gonna type your answer just uh, a sketch uh, uh, handwriting handwriting sketch it's fine but um, based on his uh, answer, I think uh, everything is correct here from question one up until question number four. So I just want to comment over here about um, this typing. Uh, I didn't expect that you type your answer. Just um, handwritten answer should be fine. Okay, by, by the way, the, the answer over here is all correct. Question number two also correct. Question number three, also correct. And question number four, this should be question number four. Okay. What's question number four? Question number one, number two, three, and this is four, it should be four over here. Uh, all is correct. 
Okay, that's from e-learning. Okay, today we're going to continue our lesson. Uh, okay, in today's lesson, as I um, described uh, last week, uh, we're going to have a look at series parallel um, furthermore series parallel circuit furthermore and we're gonna also um, try to have a look at uh, what does it mean by delta y delta transformation y delta y or delta y delta so it's the same it's a transformation from um, y to delta and or delta to y at the end, we're going to have a class activity. Again, it's uh, homework for you guys to have a look later on and submit it by um, Friday. Okay, if we talk about um, series um, circuits or resistors connected in series, uh, it will we will come across with something which is known as voltage division. And on the other hand, if you um, consider a parallel connected um, resistors or parallel connected circuits, um, it will relate um, towards current division. So this, uh, if we try to describe, try to learn about series circuit, try to relate it with voltage division. And um, for parallel connected circuit, relate it with current division. Okay, what does it mean by um, series uh, circuit or series resistors? Series um, resistors or series circuits means that uh, if you have two resistors considered in series, if the same current, if the same current pass, pass through them, hmm. two resistors are considered in series if the same current pass through them. Okay. This is the characteristic of um, series connected um, circuit where we know that in series connected circuit um, the current passing through resistors in series are the same, the same current. And um, by uh, applying Ohm's law to both resistor, looking at this diagram and this circuit, we know that for voltage across, uh, uh, sorry, voltage across R1 or V1 is equals to I times R1. So I is the current flowing inside the circuit or coming out, drawn out from the voltage source over here. So current coming in and flowing through this resistor and then we're gonna have voltage drop across this resistor. And same goes to um, resistor number two. Since there's current flowing through this line so you're going to have V2 or voltage drop across this resistor with the polarity shown in this circuit. And then if you apply KVL as usual, if you start from B or from this point, so you're going to have negative V, positive V1, positive V2, and coming back to the origin or the where we start earlier and if you're combining the two resistors since um, we know that the definition of v1 is i r1 v2 is i r2 you can combine uh, put i as a common uh, multiplier and we know that V is equals to I times R1 plus R2. And from this, we can see that this part, okay, this is the equivalent resistance for series circuit. Actually, this is um, a complicated way to explain about series circuit. By the way, in series circuit, all you need to know is the equivalent resistor is just we add all resistors in series 
okay, using this equation, R equivalent equals to R1 plus R2 and so on and so forth. If you have more than two resistors in your circuit connected in series. Okay, this is something new and I put it as highly important because if you talk about series circuit, then you cannot run away from the voltage division. What is voltage division actually? Actually, voltage division is finding a voltage without using the current. If you have a look at this equation, V1 can be found just by using combination of resistors and also by multiply it with the voltage or the, the, the voltage source okay, in the series circuit. Same goes to V2. If you have a look here, we don't have any I component. And you know that from Ohm's law, if you try to find um, voltage drop, you need to have the value of current because Ohm's law says that V equals to IR. However, for voltage division, you don't have to find the current to get what is the voltage drop across this resistor just by using this equation. For instance, this um, uh, for this kind of circuit, you have two resistors and if you try to find what is voltage, uh, if you have the value of R1, R2 and also this uh, voltage source, you can find the value of uh, voltage drop across R1 by using this equation. If you have more than um, two resistors, for example, let's see. Okay, for example, we have like the thickness, maybe this is bigger. Okay, maybe. For example, I have something around here. Consider as R3. So, how does this equation evolve? So, you can still find the voltage drop across V1, but in this case, what you need to do, you must add this resistor. Okay? Same goes to V2. You must add the additional series resistance. In other words, what I'm going to tell you is about the general form of uh, voltage division. You can say that if you try to find V1, basically you will use R1 and divide it, divide it with Total resistance, total resistance in the loop and multiply it with voltage across or voltage considered in the loop from A to B. Okay. And this is the general form of uh, voltage. Drain. And if you have, for example, another resistor over here, doesn't matter. For example, this is resistor number four also connected in series and you need to consider that the voltage across here is voltage from point A to point B. Okay. The voltage we try to consider to be voltage that inside the series loop or that uh, supplying the current in the series loop. Okay, that's the uh, principle of voltage division. This is highly important, as I mentioned earlier. You need to uh, know exactly how to use the voltage division because sometimes it's quite um, convenient to, to get um, voltages by using this kind of uh, equation or this kind of uh, approach. Sometimes you don't have the value of current where the value of current uh, actually uh, 
you don't have to find out what is the value of current uh, just by using the combination of resistor using a voltage division strategy and then you can find what the voltage across that resistor okay we move on into a parallel connected resistor as i mentioned earlier parallel connected resistor will relate into kcl where here you see that the current flowing through each branch should be depending sorry should be the summation or, or the sum of uh, current going inside that branch branches so if you consider this circuit we have two branches over here two branches okay one branch one this is branch number two but what i'm going to tell you is that this current plus this current should be equal to this current where this is i in okay and this two should be i out Okay, and the node that we focus on or we consider is at this point. Yeah, I don't like using this pen. Okay. By the way, this is something that we learned uh, last time, where I. Uh, KCL is that some uh, the summation of current at a node is equal to zero. Okay. I in plus I out equals to zero. In other words, I in equals to I out. Um, and if you look at the uh, parallel connected circuit, the way we calculate the total resistance or equivalent resistance Okay. It's also different compared to the one that we have for um, series circuit. Okay. The equivalent resistance can be found by using this equation. Where you see that this is the formula to get equivalent resistance. Equivalent resistance means that when we try, we try to simplify this circuit to become like this. So my drawing is not that good. Oh my goodness. It's a disaster. In other, in other words, what we're trying to do is we try to uh, simplify this circuit to become like this. Okay, this is the equivalent resistance. And we try to combine those two resistors. And the formula uh, we're using is that stated over here where R equivalent is equals to R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Maybe last time in um, maybe from your diploma studies, maybe from your um, A-level or STPM or, or maybe matriculation, I, I don't know, maybe uh, you've learned about if you have a parallel connected circuit, the way we calculate the total resistance or equivalent resistance is like this. Goes to R1. I'm going to delete this first. Plus 
1 over r t. Okay. My comment is that both equation is good. It's the same, basically. You will get the same answer using these two equations. Okay, for, for example, okay. I have, I like this thing. Okay, for example, I have a circuit. Oh my goodness. This is also a disaster. If I have a circuit which looks like this, error connected resistor. Uh, let's say this is ten ohm. This is also ten ohm. What happened? Okay. This is also 10 ohm. Alright. We have two um, options or two ways to calculate the total resistance. Where first we have R equivalent. Oops. Is equal to... Um, R1 R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2 okay another one maybe I write it over here R is to the oh my very difficult to use this thing. R equivalent one over R equivalent equals to one over R one plus one over R two. Okay, I will demonstrate that these two equation is the same. Here we have R1 equals to 10 times 10 divided by 20. And the answer is 100 divided by 20. Okay, here we have 5 ohm. Okay. Over here, we have 1 over 10 divided by 1 over 10 equals to 2 over 10. And remember, this is 1 over R equivalent. If you try to find the R equivalent. Oops. You need to flip it over. Where you're going to have 10 over 2. And the answer also. By. Oh. Okay. So both equation are the same but the way we calculate one is by direct directly using this equation and you will get r equivalent after you finish the calculation however if you use this equation after you finish you need to flip it over flip it over otherwise you will get the wrong answer Okay, then maybe you will ask which one should be used um, in order to calculate um, parallel connected circuit. I would say that 
this okay this r equivalent or uh, this equation only applies when you have two resistors okay not like this lah it first if you have two resistors for example two okay. Okay. two resistors if you have more than two resistors this is the fastest way to calculate your r equivalent this is for more than two resistors okay for example if i add another two resistor over here maybe uh give it this first okay if i have another two resistors And also connect the in parallel. Oh my god. Okay. And let's say this is also 10. And this is also 10 ohm. Okay. Uh, I, I didn't draw, draw the symbol because it's quite, uh, I don't have much space over here, uh, uh, over here actually. Okay, maybe I will. Okay. Stand up. Okay. What I'm trying to say here is that if you... the red color okay if you have a circuit which looks like this okay you have four uh, parallel connected resistors you cannot simply just put it like this r3 r4 and this is plus r3 plus r4 this this is totally wrong totally wrong it cannot be used that way however if you have a look at this equation when you try to put the other two terms that is r3 plus 1 over r4 okay this Equation is correct, or the way you calculate the uh, equivalent resistance for four um, resistors connected in uh, parallel is correct. However, if you try to consider this equation, it is totally wrong. So be careful using this um, approach or this formula to get um, R equivalent of parallel resistor, R equivalent or R total of a uh, parallel connected resistor. If you have more than um, two resistors, what you need to do is either, okay, either by using this equation, or if you're still um, happy using this equation, you can, what you can, uh, what you can do is try to combine this resistor first, okay, 10 and 10, Okay, for example here, I try to combine these two resistors. Okay, try to combine and means that if I combine, this resistor will be gone. And when you combine the two resistors, uh, which is 10 and 10 over here, means that the value of your new resistor should be 5. And you also need to combine these two resistors. 
Okay, when you combine, instead this one should be gone or eliminated. Oh my god. Okay. This one also not here anymore. And the register over here, the value here is, should be 5 since we have 10, 10, um, two resistors of values with 10 ohm connected in parallel. So now you have only two branches, then you can use this equation. But this time around, what you need to do is by using different values where you need to use 5 times 5 divided by a 10. This is 5 times 5. So 25 divided by 10 is 2.5 ohm. Is it correct? Is, uh, is, yeah, correct. 2.5 ohm. Um, okay, we move on our lesson. This is crucial. That's why um, I spend uh, much time over here. Because if you don't really understand uh, which uh, formula is suitable to calculate uh, parallel connected circuit, sometimes you might do um, uh, do or find the total resistance incorrect. Okay, if you uh, have a look at the um, circuit uh, which is connected in parallel or resistor connected in parallel. Um, again, we, um, we try to relate with another uh, terms or another definition which, or another formula which is known as current division. Where in current division, okay, in current division, you you can see that you can find the value of current I1 over here, okay, I1, without knowing the voltage drop across this resistor. Okay, what you need to do is you need to know what is the value of current over here. I think the the picture or the, the circuit shown over here is not um, really um, highlight the advantage of using current division because as you see over here if you know the voltage around across this this element is 10 volt for example and easily you can say that voltage over here is also 10 volt and the easiest way to find the current over here is not by using this current division. You can use um, simple Ohm's law to get the value of current over here because you know the voltage across each parallel resistor over here is 10 volt, 10 volt over here, and over here also 10 volt, as well as over here. Over here, the voltage is also 10 volt. And we can easily find the value of I1 and I2 just by using Ohm's law. 10 divided by the value of resistor. That's why I said earlier, this is not um, a circuit which will show the advantage of using current division. Maybe I will try to um, modify a bit. Okay. What if? Okay. What if? Okay. The source over here I change the source to be like this. Maybe this is a current source. Okay. And the current source here 
giving the circuit with current of I. Cannot use I like this. Now. We use the same I over here. Okay, I. Okay, means that in this circuit we have a current flowing through uh, this node and distributed into these two branches. Okay. If you try to find what is the current over here. What we have learned earlier, we have to know, we will use Ohm law, Ohm's law, and we need to identify or we need to calculate first what is the voltage across here. Okay. We are one. And later on, we can use Ohm, Ohm's law to get I1. However, we don't have any voltage value over here, but what we have is only the current drawn by this current source into these two branches. So what we can do is we can use current division. Current division says that to get I1, okay, what you need to do is using this equation, I1 equals to R2 divided by R1 plus R2 times the current into the node itself. Okay, consider the node is over here. Okay, both are the same node, node E. Okay. I1 is equal to R2. I, I would like to um, write the equation to be like this because I like to separate between resistors and the current the quantities okay. times I okay for I2 I2 for I2 I2 is R1 divided by R1 plus R2 times I. Okay, this is I1. If you look at I1, I1. Okay, if you look at the pattern over here, if I try to get the value of, okay, let me clear this thing first. If I try to get the value of I1, I need to have the, the, the equation basically need to arrange by looking at the resistor R2 and then the summation or the sum of these two resistors. I will look here, R2 divide by R1 plus R2 times I. If you try to consider or you try to calculate I2, okay, if you try to calculate I2, you need to have a look at R1 as the denominator, uh, sorry, D, uh, sorry, numerator, denominator, no, denominator is the, 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 the terms at the bottom. You need to look at R1 and consider R1 as your numerator. And for your denominator is the summation of R1 plus R2. Okay, that's how I remember uh, the formula of current division. Okay, maybe you would like to ask about what happens if I have more than one branches, uh, sorry, more than two branches. Can I use this kind of uh, equation as well? Yep. Oh, Alamak. 
Okay, we look at maybe I would hmm, don't have to save here. Uh, don't save. Okay, I use it over here, right? And um, maybe we erase this part. We are considering. We consider a current we have a current source over here and current flowing through is i and we have additional um, resistors over here maybe yeah. oh. Okay, maybe you should we should put a value. It's uh, better. Uh, maybe I put it as ten. And here, this one is ten ohm. Ten ohm. Okay, okay. No, no. maybe we stick with two. Later on, we discuss about uh, additional branches. I would like to show this first before we get into additional branches. Okay, I would like to show the effect, uh, the effect of, or how do we use the current divider? Okay, let's say. I have 10 ampere over here and I have resistor uh, here is 10 ohm and over here I have 5 ohm okay based on this uh, setup or based on these uh, values I can uh, predict that I1 I, I put I1 as like this yeah I1 should be um, lesser than I2. Okay. Do you agree with me? Can you respond? Yes, okay. Yes. Okay. If yes, why? Because I1 faces uh, more resistance than I2. Oh, thank you so much. Who says that? Nasif, right? Uh, yes. Is you okay? Thank you, thank you so much, Nasir. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. Because of the 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 nature or, or the the values of resistors over here. If you have a look at the value of resistor, I can predict that okay, I one should be lesser than I two. It is because R one is bigger. The value is bigger compared to I I two uh, R two. So now I try to um, calculate I one using that current division. Rule. So, if I try to cut it, I1 means that I'm looking at R2 as my numerator, 5, divided by the summation of these two resistors, which is 15, and times 10 is the current flowing through uh, the, the, the original current that tried to... Uh, try to uh, what you call it distributed into I uh, branch number one and branch number two okay now if you try to calculate this uh, okay five this is two this is three uh, five times two is ten ten divided by three is about 3.33333333 MPA. Three, 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 three. Am I correct? Okay. Um, if I try to find 
what is I2? Okay, I'm looking at uh, the other end of uh, the resistor, which is uh, the left hand side, R1, the opposite resistor. Put it as my numerator. And at the denominator is the summation of those two resistors times again with 10. So here I have uh, divided by 5 is 2, divided by 5 is 3, 3, uh, 10 divided by 3 is 3, 3, 3, 3, times 2 is around 6, 6, 6, right? Around 6, 6, 6, something lah. 8 or 6.666 ampere. Uh, let me check first. I am afraid that my math. Someone, can you check with uh, my math? Am I correct? Ten divided by three is three to three. Yes, it's okay. Thank you, Pedro. Okay, now. You can use this formula. This is known as current um, division. Okay. If you are in the middle of doing, for example, for doing um, your final or test or um, whatever, lah, quiz, you try to calculate um, I2. Okay. You can, um, the, the fastest way is by, uh, by using uh, directly by using the, the equation that I, I showed earlier. So you can find I2 without knowing I1. You can find I2 equals to 5, uh, sorry, 10 divided by 15 times 10. Okay, straightforward. Try um, calculate I2. However, okay, uh, Let's say you have uh, you need to find both current I1 and I2, and first of all, uh, you don't have any voltage um, connected in parallel with your parallel connected resistors. It means that you need to use current division rule. For I1, yes, it's okay. Use this formula, but for I2. For I2, you can use either the way that I shown earlier by using current direction rule or by using a simple Kirchhoff current law. What does it mean? It means that I2 can be found by subtracting the source current and also I1 that you calculated earlier at the first stage. So here, you can say that 10 divided, eh, sorry, minus 3.333. And here you will get your answer is, should be the same as you calculated using current division rule for I2. So you, you use your, your creativity to get uh, information from the circuit. Either you want to use uh, the formula or you can use um, a simple way, simpler way where you can apply Kirchhoff uh, current law. Here, if you, this is something which is revision, also revision to you. If you have a look at this part, we have, let's say this is our node, this is I, and we have two currents going out. This is I2 or I1. This is I2. Okay. Once you get the value of this I, definitely this is easy, right? Just by using I 
equals to I1 plus I2. The concept of current Kirchhoff law. And it's you can easily find what is the value of I2 just by using this uh, relationship. You can also use um, the current uh, current division uh, equation, but uh, I think this is something which is you can if you don't need to uh, put it on uh, value for resist resistors. You don't need to consider value of resistors. Just use um, simple subtraction between uh, or current source and also the current that you found earlier for I one. Okay. This is highly important, yeah? Right, we go back into the, the one that I mentioned earlier. We, how about if we have, okay, let's see here, it's, we put it as 10, okay, how about if we have more than two branches. Okay, this is I four. This I eh, sorry. This should be I three. This should be I four. Is a matter of Okay. I3, it's more difficult to write 3 compared to 4. <laughs> All right, uh, let's say uh, this is 5. This is, um, okay, this is also 5. Lah. Let's say, lah. okay. I can say that I3 and I4 is equal. Um, and also I1 and I2 also equal. Okay. However, okay, however, however, these two, okay, these two. Let's say this is, uh, okay, I, I wrap this thing first. Okay, let's say this is, I label it as IA. Okay, and this is, I label it as IB. I can say that IA is lesser than IB. This is because of the values of resistance, again. Okay, this is what I'm predicting for this, okay. However, I'm not gonna get into details on that. I try to apply what I've learned earlier, where what I've learned about uh, current division, it says that if I try to find I1, I must use R2 divided by R1 plus R2 times I, right? Okay, now I have resistors, four resistors which is connected in parallel. So I modify this what is the numerator value of the numerator should i put still r2 or r3 or r4 so the de about the denominator should i put it like this okay all this thing okay is wrong Okay, it's wrong. You cannot simply just add resistors like this. 
Okay, in other words, what I'm going to tell you about this equation. This equation only works if you have two connected parallel resistors. Only two. If you have more than two, you cannot use this equation. Okay, if you have more than two, like this, what you need to do? Leave your answer blank. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll try to explain to you what you need to do. What you need to do here is you can still use current division. Maybe you can find in uh, in your book uh, the, the way to calculate it. Okay. So let me put in general. Yeah? Okay. Ix equals to R total divide by Rx times I. Okay, maybe you wondering what is R total in this case? Okay, R total looking looking at this um, circuit. R total is given by one over R total is. Okay, now we are put it like this first. R total is given by R1 in parallel with R2 in parallel with R3 and also parallel with R4. Okay, the way you calculate R total, either by using, uh, you combine these two, these two, and then com uh, try to calculate back what is R total, or by using this equation. 1 over R total equals to 1 over R1 uh, plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus 1 over R4. And to get the value of R total, you need to flip. Flip this answer. Okay, flip back this answer because this is one over r total r total is you try to take the, the the flip of that value okay um for example i try to find what is the value of i3 okay, i3 is equals to let's see uh, let's say we, we try to calculate first someone can you calculate for me, what is R total for this? For example, now we have 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5. How to what take equals to 5 over 3. 5 over, over three. 3. 5 over 3. Have you flipped it? Uh, yes. Okay. It's already flipped. Okay. Can you give me the value in decimal? Uh, because easy for me to, zero, to put it zero point six. Huh? Is it 0 0.6? 0 .6? Yes. 0 0.6. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, now, we know that our R total is 0 0.6. Uh, sorry. Is it 0 0.6? No. No, no, no. 1 point. <laughs> 5 uh, minus, uh, sorry, 5 divided by 3. Seven. Uh, sorry. 1.67. Okay, it's okay. Sometimes people make mistakes, guys. It's okay lah. 1.67, around that value lah. 1.67 ohm. Okay, now, if I try to find what is the current flowing through here, I must use this value, 1.67 
divided by Rx since x here we consider as um, I3 so x is 3 so this should be 5 times 10 if you try to calculate I1 okay I1 we should use this 1.67 value because it is our R total divided by R1 is 10 times 10. Okay. If you, okay, before that, I, I just, let me finish the, the value or the, the way we calculate I2 and I4. 1.67 divided by also 10 times 10. Uh, one I four one point six seven divided by five times ten. If you look at the 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 answer, final answer for this I one, I two, I three, and also I four. You can find that these two value should be the same. For example, this is the value of IA. I, I, I believe the value is 1.67 over here. IA. Okay. And this value should be the same. And also these two values should be the same. Maybe this value is, should, if you calculate, it's 1.67 times 2. I, I don't know what the answer. Maybe we can check it later. But what I know is this two value should be the same. And regarding the relationship between this IA and IB, I can say that IA is lesser than IB. IB is greater, have great, has greater value because of the value resistor that we have over here is lesser compared to these two branches. Okay, this is um, the way to use current division. If you have more than, uh, more than two branches of resistors connected in parallel, okay? I spend so much time on this, I think. It's okay, but this is something which is really basic. You need to uh, strengthen your basic in order to, uh, I'll call it, um, to apply it in more difficult tasks or more advanced circuit. This is about open and short circuit. Okay, open and short circuit means that if you have um, a short circuit a short circuit, a short circuit circuit, <laughs> a short circuit circuit, and you have an open circuit circuit, huh? open circuit. Here, short circuits means that resistors will drop to zero because this is only a, a, a wire or, or which is shorted in the circuit. And if you uh, or if you have a look at the short wire or the uh, short circuit, you can see that the whole current supplying inside the circuit from the, the source into these two branches will flow into this short shorted path. Okay, and one more is about the total resistance. The total resistance, if you try to get the total resistance of a short circuit, means the total resistance over here is equal to zero. You can prove it by using the, the this equation, I think. Okay. Example here, since we have uh, 
dia. R total equals to R1 times 0 divided by R1 plus 0. So, 0 divided by R1 is equals to 0. On the other hand, for open circuit, okay, for open circuit means that the current over here is equal to zero. No current from to here and this will make or actually the current uh, becomes zero because of this open resistance, oh, sorry, open circuit. The resistance value over here for open circuit is equal to infinity. If you have a look at the total resistance, the total resistance of this circuit is equal to R1. In other words, if you simplify this circuit, it's going to be like this only. This is our I. This is R1. And why? Because the, the, the other limb or the other branches, the other branch is open. And uh, if you try to prove the total resistance equals to R1. Here we have R1 times infinity and uh, R1 plus infinity. So since R1 plus infinity is always infinity and we can cancel these two terms. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Can cancel this term. Okay, this two term and lead us to the value of resistance is R1. Okay, that's for short circuit, open circuit definition. Okay, we go into example 2.9. Basically, this example, what I'm trying to discuss is about how do we simplify a circuit? And if you look at this example, the question over here asks about find the R equivalent for the shown circuit. R equivalent means that R looking from looking from this to terminal. R, let's say this is terminal A and this is terminal B looking from these two things. Yeah, I cannot label it as A and B. Huh? You just leave it like that. Okay, from these two things. Huh? Okay, if you look at this circuit, we have a combination of series and parallel circuit. And as we know, to get the total resistance looking from these uh, two terminals, at the end, what we're trying to do Okay, we're trying to get, this is the two terminal, and we try to get a resistor on one resistor, which is the value is R equivalent. Over here, since it is a combination of series and parallel, we need, first we need to identify which one is in series and which one is in parallel. So the first one, looking at the circuit, uh, I would really suggest that you look at the far side of um, the circuit. Okay. For farthest side of the circuit. Farthest means the, 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 the furthest um, side that you can find, you can find uh, with respect to the, the resistor that you try to calculate. In this case is these two resistors. And these two resistors is considered a series resistors, means that you can combine these two to become six ohm. Later on, when you when you combine these two, you can also find out that these two is in parallel. Okay, this two is in parallel and you can combine these two in parallel as well. So this is the solution. 
if you look at the the simplified circuit you can find that these two if we combine you will get six ohm over here these two if you combine we will have two ohms in this branch at this branch and later on if you look at this oh maybe uh change it to orange at this particular branch okay if we try to simplify this two resistor it will lead us to a resistors with a value of two ohm and these two ohms is basically in series with two ohms which is appears on top of it so now these two is actually in series you can combine it and if you combine it you will get this four ohm resistor and this four ohm resistor if you look closely it is in parallel with the six ohm resistor so that's why we do the calculation of these two parallel connected circuit uh, sorry two co parallel connected resistors and if you done with the calculation of these two parallel uh, resistor you will end up with this resistor which is 2.4 ohms and looking at the circuit back it is you can easily um, calculate the value of r equivalent just by adding this 4 2.4 and 8 ohm resistors because all these are connected in series so at the end basically we try to um, simplify our circuit to become a series circuit then we can easily uh, calculate the value of our total resistance looking from these two terminals so this is example 2.9 you can have a look later on um, how this uh, the strategy how we uh, simplify the circuit it's very easy i think as this example but we start with easy one lah. okay if you have a look at this example it's a bit complicated because we have something which is in uh, connected which is uh, a bit weird because we have these two these two resistors is connected this way so if you try to find r a b the first thing that i suggest you look at the easiest and farthest set of resistors so here we have six ohm which is easily can be calculated because uh, combined because these two which is in series and if you combine these two it will become like this okay and if you consider this point and this point so now i have resistor this switch and simply by looking at these two at this point d and b i know that these two resistors definitely in parallel definitely in parallel and also since this is only a wire okay means that at from d to b not only this 4 ohm resistor i also have this 12 ohm resistor so that's why over here if you see here this 3 ohm resistor okay this 3 ohm resistor is coming from 4 ohms and also this 12 ohm resistor so here you can say that first thing you need to know you have this 6 ohm okay and then this 3 ohm resistor is basically coming from this two resistors connected in parallel and the calculation is over here okay the way i try to um, simplify the circuit or the way i try to calculate uh, uh, 
the way I my approach to calculate the circuit is a bit different compared to the solution over here because the solution over here is directly identifying uh, elements which is inside uh, the circuit uh, not considering for, for example my step is like um, consider the father side first and later on we bring into front and this um, solution just simultaneously uh, solve the circuit yes this is correct uh, it is uh, it's true you can do that but sometimes uh, people make mistakes so why, why don't we try uh, step by step we, we try the easiest one and later on bring it to a uh, more complex uh, circuit okay now you know that this blue line is basically okay due to these two resistors and if if you're trying to uh, get my solution uh, if, if you try what is my solution for uh, what is my next step for this uh, to find rab i would say i try to combine these two first okay, if i combine these two first uh, what is the answer yeah combine these two yeah, I think because connected in two nodes B and C. Uh, no, B and C. Oh, okay. This is not the one. Okay, if if I try to combine these two, I will lead into a circuit which is look like this. Okay. Again. This is C, this is B, this is B, and this is B as well. Oh, before that, I think at this branch, oh my, at this branch, I didn't solve or I didn't calculate any uh, parallel connected resistor at C. At C, I have something which is look like this, and like this, according to the circuit earlier. Okay, here, I have this resistor, which is 3 in parallel with um, 6. I have this resistor. 1 ohm and the answer for this is 2 supposed to be 2 and this is the resistor that I haven't do anything yet okay now based on this simplified uh, second my second step so what is my next move my next move is like um, okay I know these two is in series because easily I can tell it's this in, in the same, uh, uh, these two is in series. So I can combine these two. Okay. And my circuit will become like this. This is three, this is six, and this is three again. And here I have three resistors connected in parallel, and I shall stop this one into this circuit. where I have three in parallel with six in parallel with three. Again, if you have three resistors in parallel, uh, you need to use one over R total or you can solve it one by one. Uh, 
you can combine two first and then later on um, solve the other two. Okay, uh, the easiest way is one over uh, one over up total. Then this is my strategy. But if you try to follow this strategy, also can maybe uh, you can use your imagination or you can use your creativity how to solve series parallelity, how to simplify. But my um, my advice, please carefully look at the connections and also try to work out the farthest elements first so that we can bring our circuit into front or into our our main uh, objective okay that's example 2.10 i have another example basically not example 2.12 in example 2.12 basically what we're trying to calculate over here is you try to calculate io and vo in the circuit if you look here io is a current flowing through this 3 ohm resistor and vo is the voltage drop across this 3 ohm resistor and also you need to calculate the power dissipated in the 3 ohm resistor first of all you can use any um, strategy that you want because you have already learned about Ohm's law, you already learned about current division and also learn about uh, voltage division. And the simplest way, okay, the simplest way to calculate this um, problem maybe uh, varies. I mean, um, there's options that you can use to, to 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 solve this circuit i i cannot tell which one is the simplest one maybe you can say okay that is not the simplest one okay. maybe uh, you can have your choice to to, to solve this circuit to, to to answer what's the the solution for io and so on all right based on the solution written over here first of all if you look at these two resistors we have two resistors connected in parallel first of all the solution says we, we need to simplify these two circuit sorry these two resistors after we simplify it this is the simplified circuit that we can redraw back so now we have 12 volt 4 ohms um, resistor and also two ohms two ohms over here is the combination of um, here is the combination of six ohm in parallel with three ohm and if you look at the label of voltage drop across here also labeled as vo why we can label it as vo i would like to explain on this Okay, at first, we know that VO is a voltage across these three ohm resistors. Using a parallel connected networks definition, if we have VO across this element, and we know that at this point is also A, and this point is also B, we can say that across this element, Okay. It's also VO. The value is the same because parallel connected elements definition voltage across parallel connected elements voltage across voltage drop across uh, parallel connected elements is the same. So now we know that voltage drop across the six ohm resistor is the same, but actually. If defined to us that voltage from point A to point B is basically the voltage VO we're looking at this 3 ohm resistor. So in other words that I want to say here, basically VO is voltage from point A to point B. So if I simplify these two resistors, 
yes, this the value of resistor uh, with, uh, will change. However, the voltage drop across these two terminals never change. That's the same voltage across this three ohm resistor, across this six ohm resistor, or after we combine these two, this is also VO or voltage drop across from terminal A to terminal B. So now you need to grab this definition. If if you cannot uh, understand about uh, this definition, means uh, it's quite difficult for you to understand. Hey, suddenly why here is also VO? Uh, then it's quite difficult. It's because of we looking VO, considering this is the voltage from terminal A to terminal B. Okay, now our circuit has been simplified. We can easily calculate what is VO by first here. Here they use voltage divider rule. Without calculating the current, you can find what is VO. VO can be found using this equation. 2 divided by 2 plus 4 times 12. So 12 is the voltage inside the loop, uh, around the loop. And you can also um, calculate what is the current, I. Since we know what is the value of VO, I over here is basically the same current flowing through here. However, however, if you look at the question, the question here says that you need to find I O, not I. Okay, I yes, it easily can be found by using V uh, I equals to V over R. Here V is twelve, R is equals to six. So now I easily can be found as two ampere. However. We need to find I-O, and what you need to do is, you, if you go back to the original question, okay, we identified that I-O is a current flowing through 3 ohm resistor. That's why, if you look at the uh, solution over here, the way we try to find I-O is by using... Oh, The way we try to find I-O but is by using V-O. Since we know that V-O is all four volts over here. And of course, if you translate it back into our original circuit, this is also four volts. This is also four volts. And we can easily find I-O by using this um, Ohm's law, O-I-O equals to 4 divided by 3. So here, where we look back at our original circuit and to find how to calculate I.O. You need to use your creativity since uh, you already have uh, been equipped with Ohm's law, with um, Kirchhoff current law, Kirchhoff voltage law, and also current voltage division. Okay, now, how do we calculate the power dissipated in the 3 ohm resistor? For the power, I think it's quite easy for power. Power can be found by using IO times VO. Okay. Because we need to find power at 3 ohms over here. And IO is the current flowing through 3 ohm resistor and VO is the voltage across this 3 ohm resistor. You can use this formula to get what is the value of your PO, uh, sorry, P3. Or you can use this formula as well, IO squared times 3, okay. Or you can use this formula, VO squared, 
over three. See, if, if you look at these two options that uh, I wrote just now, if you try to use I squared R, make sure the current is the current flowing through these three ohm resistor. Because we we try to find power at this point or at this element. And if you try to use this formula, V squared over R, make sure you use voltage across this three ohm resistor, square it and divide with the value of the three ohms resistor, three ohms lah. Okay, if I change a bit uh, the question, what if try to calculate the power dissipated in the four ohm resistor? What option do I have? Okay, here, since I've already calculated I value, okay, I've already calculated the value over here, which is two ampere. I can easily calculate value of P4. Where should I write? Over here. Maybe over here. Lah. P4 ohm is equals to 2 squared times 4. This is the easiest way to calculate the fastest and easiest, uh, simplest way to calculate power dissipated at 4 ohms resistor. Why? Because currently or at the moment, we only have the current flowing through this resistor. You don't need to uh, uh, calculate the voltage drop because we can also use the current information to calculate the power dissipated at this 4 ohms resistor. If you calculate the voltage um, drop across these four ohms, then that should be fine, but you will miss or you will spend about maybe uh, 30 seconds uh, to do that. So if you use this equation, you will uh, save your 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, um, that's for uh, part one. Actually, I have another part try to uh, explain about delta y transformation but i think i'm going to stop because now it's already 10:40 uh, i don't know whether if i'm a bit rushed maybe I, I can proceed maybe i can proceed okay this is the class activity that i um i shared to you uh, in e learning so I have four questions. Uh, as usual, the question you can um, download the question from. Um, uh, I attach uh, also the question in in the submission link. You can download over there. And you need to submit it before thirtieth of October, eleven fifty nine p.m. Okay, maybe um, I think with this twenty minutes. Uh, I have another five slides and one example. Five, no, uh, four slides I would like to share with you Ab about delta Y transformation. Okay, what actually Y delta? Y and delta is a network basically. Y network, if you look at here, can be drawn like this, like a slingshot, or sometimes drawn like this, like T, K, T. This is known as Y connection or Y or T networks. For delta, delta means you have like a triangle network, like this triangle connection, a uh, triangle connected resistors, or triangle connected elements. So, on. so this is known as delta network. 
and sometimes um, for delta network the the elements also can be arranged like this like pi if you look at here why why this two is the same because if you look at this point okay this particular point let's say i put it as a over here and if you consider this is a since we don't have any elements over here this is also a so these two are the same except that they are drawn or they are uh, arranged a bit different however both are the same because this is the the common point a here the common point a is uh, is extended you have a wire over there to extend the uh, the length of uh, the common point okay this is what uh, known as y delta network and we these two networks, Y to Delta, can be transformed, uh, can be interchanged. Means that you can transform Y into Delta connection, and you can also transform Delta into Y connection. But you need to apply a formula. So now I will show you the formula how to apply. Okay, you can read later on. Maybe uh, I, I would like to focus on uh, the, the formula and how you, you 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 convert from y into delta and delta into y that's more important later you can read all this stuff okay this is if we consider this is uh, something uh, uh, okay, maybe i put it Yeah. Let's see. Both copy. Okay. We return back to, to the our side. We try to convert from delta to y. Okay, delta to y. Okay, what is our delta connected uh, elements? Delta connected element is this part. Okay, we try at the beginning we have uh, element elements three resistors connected in delta and what we're trying to do is we're trying to convert the delta this delta connected uh, elements and try to be like this or try to uh, arrange our element to become like this this is what had been known by delta to y transformation okay. we try to uh, change our delta connected circuit so that the the three elements which is connected earlier connected in delta will be um, connected in um, y connection okay And here is the formula to do that. First, for R1, to get the value of R1, you need to use this formula, RB, RC, divided by RA, RB, RC. Okay, look at R1. If you would like to calculate this R1, the numerator you, you need to use these two resistors and the denominators you need to have uh, 
B, R, B, and R, C. If you look at other, um, what do you call it, other formula, the pattern is about the same at the denominator. Okay. At the denominator, we will have something which is the summation of three resistors connected in delta. Okay. Same goes to the third one. However, for the, let's say here, for R2, okay, for R2, look at the numerator combination where we need to consider RC and RA. Okay? Resistors, which is besides okay, this R2, okay? at the side of R2. R2 over here, so at, at R2 side, we have RC and also RA. For example, R1 over here, at R1 side, we have RB and also RC. If you look at R3, uh, maybe a different color. If R3, at R3 side, we have RC and RB. So that's why here we have R, why RA and RB? I think my formula here is wrong. My formula written over here is wrong. R3 should be R, R A and R B. Yeah, correct. Oh, sorry. This is R A, right? Yeah, because I overlap my time. Okay, what I say is wrong, but but written in the in my notes is correct. Okay, now uh, for R3, I'm sorry about that because really excited explaining about these resistors. Okay, RA, uh, for R3, it should be RA and RB at the side of that resistor. So that's why this is RA and RB. For R2, we have RB, RA and RC. And for R1, we have RB and RC. That is for transformation from delta to y. Okay. Okay. If you consider or if you try to calculate the transformation from y to delta, y to delta means that, okay, It means that from Y connected uh, resistors, three elements, into delta connected resistors. Okay. Of course, at first, we only have these three resistors, R1, R2, and R3, which is connected in delta, uh, sorry, star or um, Y. First, we have three resistors connected like this and we try to convert it into like this which is this is a b c r a r b r c is r1 r2 and this is branch for r3 okay looking at um, r a how do we calculate r a r a is given by r1 times R2 plus R2 times R3 plus R3 times R1 plus I3 times R1. And if you look at the pattern over here, it will remain the same for the rest of the resistors, the way we uh, try to calculate the rest of the resistor. However, if you look at for R1, 
Oh, sorry, RE. RE over here. RE is here. And the denominator of the formula should be the element that we should consider is R1. And for RB, RB is over here. And you need to consider element opposite of R. B, which is R2, and for what else? Okay, for here, RC, if you try to calculate RC, you need to consider elements which is opposite to RC, which is R3. Okay, this opposite element, these three opposite elements should be put at the denominator of your equation. R1 should be this color. Okay, denominator. Only denominator um, change. The numerator kept the same. If you look at the numerator, is R1 times R2. R2 times R3 uh, is R3 times... It's a combination, basically. Combination of these three um, Y-connected resistors. Okay. Uh, last time, during um, previous semester, students had difficulties remembering this formula. But I think this time around, you have advantage of uh, getting into this formula because everything will be conducted online and you can refer your book as, as well um, as your notes uh, during exam. But uh, your seniors, uh, they have difficulties remembering this uh, this part, but they also have advantage. Once they remember, it's uh, they they have more creativity in terms of uh, solving their uh, circuit. Uh, depends on people. Uh. Sometimes they took it as advantage. Sometimes they took it as difficulties. Uh, maybe they say, "Oh, it's, uh, it's a bit difficult to to." To remember all these formulas, but wait, wait a minute. Not only remembering, you also need to have creativity. How to uh, identify uh, the connection, whether it is delta, whether it is uh, a star, uh, Y connected um, resistors. It depend on your intelligence and your creativity. Okay, not only depends on um, remembering. So, uh, depends on you how to how. Um, you uh, take uh, whether it's advantage or disadvantage to you. Okay, I have example over here, but we have only about six uh, minutes left, so I think I don't want to um, spend some uh, spend time on this. Maybe later on uh, we will discuss back about uh, this example. And also, uh, if you want to look uh, in advance about um, how do we transform from Y to Delta, Delta to Y, you can um, get into example 2.4, 2.5. I think um, I already put it in e-learning. Maybe if uh, I didn't put it yet, uh, later after this class, I will put the example of um, Y Delta transformation. And uh, I think that's all from me for today. Uh, remember that, uh, again, I have class activity over here. I, we have four questions. Four questions where you need to submit it uh, by Friday. Uh, in the last part of the question, this is practice uh, problem 2.14. Is The question is regarding uh, delta Y connection. Maybe uh, you need to have a look at the example that I in e-learning platform. The next topic, next topic would be a highly important topic, which is uh, we try to learn about uh, one circuit analysis method known as nodal analysis. And please have a look at nodal analysis in advance. Uh, how do we uh, conduct nodal analysis? Because it, this is quite, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, student, uh, it's very difficult uh, for students to understand, for some students to understand, but 
it's very uh, useful tool uh, when it comes to uh, analyze a circuit. Okay. Now, um, I think I'm going to stop now. Please um, have a look at e-learning for updates. Uh, before we stop, can you uh, open your or turn on your camera? Because I would like to snap um, the screen of your attendance. This is for evidence, basically. Okay. Bye. Okay, enough smiling. <laughs> All right. Um, by the way, um, I would like to um, conduct a class during the the public holiday. If, if, be you okay with that on Thursday? Because I, I would like to discuss on um, the example that I um, leave just now, uh, exa last example. So can you uh, provide maybe one hour, uh, one minute maybe? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay uh, on, on Thursday, okay. on Thursday morning. Maybe... How about others? I, I don't know. Maybe we can uh, communicate through the WhatsApp. If uh, others is okay, uh, I've already uh, allocated uh, 11 to 1 p.m. But if you try, uh, if you want to change it to morning session, then, then we can discuss back. Okay, on Thursday, I would like to explain about, uh, we discuss about the example and as well as uh, we discuss about uh, your homework, previous homework, okay? All right, um, maybe we discuss um, later in our WhatsApp group. Lah. Okay, anyway, thank you for your attention. It's two hours solid. I know it's not easy 